Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Ottomans and Europe and the Cells 4. So here we are getting ready for a big old war with a certain Persian nation alongside a smaller ally who I am planning to just decimate. Either way, Ardalan itself is allied with Baluchistan and Tiberistan, which is, I think is a bit better than also having Hazza in the mix. Hazza would be a little bit of an annoyance. Now I do plan on building a whole bunch of ships over here. Not too many, just enough. Probably four or five characters to deal with like killing Hazza eventually because I do want, you know, the final province of Arabia. Yeah, that isn't worth it at all. But yeah, like, just all this in general is not really... I just remember when you used to have like no states and it was just you could blob much more easily. Now they've actually this is like a method of reducing the efficiency of blobbing and I have nothing against that in all honesty. It's actually a pretty good change. There are certain things in the game that I think have changed for the worst though. So well, well this is actually a perfect frigging time. Baluchistan wouldn't join and Tiberistan is actually going to suffer. So, I can go straight there. And I can just, in general, fuck up our land quickly. But, let's see. Wait, is that more? Has a fully maintained fort, fully maintained fort, fully maintained... Yeah, they're all fully maintained. Why wouldn't they be? They're currently at war. So, he's two techs behind me, which I mean... I think that means I have the cannon advantage. So, that's pleasant. And what else is there to consider? Well, there is certain other things but for now let's see once that fort is there I think I'll probably get rid of the fort in Ardalan or Kameshar for the simple fact that well I can just use Baghdad in that area to cover the same area actually Baghdad is like one of the most central forts possible now we'll probably send more armies to the same spots and so on now, I might end up butting heads with Bukhara in the long run, since Bukhara, I believe, wants everything here. He wants why I'm taking here, which could... This could piss him off. Oh, no, you fucking don't. Oh, no, you fucking don't. Oh, he's black flagged. Yay, it's my fucking province, bitch. Anyway. Ooh, God, I clicked out of the game. That is not good. So, Ardalan. Nation that is going to die pretty soon. It's the guy up in the north who would be better suited to fighting. But let's be honest, I am ten times their army size. I think this is going to be an insta squish. And well, it wasn't, but they don't exactly. They didn't exactly inflict heavy casualties, did they? What the fuck is that? No, what is that? Oh, he's going to there, is he? Go on, keep going. You're only gonna die horribly. Oh, is he actually... Yep, he's gonna escape it. He's going to Yasuj. But it looks like I'm gonna get every single province I want in this. This cat just keeps digging its claws in my leg. That is fine. Perfectly and utterly fine. So, 
So, what else is there to consider? Well, this over here is going to fall soon. I have to do. S no, I can get all of it in one more. Just a matter of getting the mm, to actually piece out, which could be minorly difficult. So Isfahan, which is you know the legendary Persian capital. is, well, legendary capital in some cases, is now under our occup uh, occupation. Do you have to use my dressing can to get up there, you stupid cat? Okay then. Well, I will be hunting down these small stacks, because they're going to be an annoyance otherwise. He's just going to go to Isfahan and be a pain in the ass. Yep, he's going to be like, I want to see just Mac, because I'm good at this. Uh, shame, he's dead. Bakara isn't sieging that fort there. Are they sieging this one? Nope. All forts are going to be mine, I guess. Can't go there. Can go there. So, how much will I have to win by to get them to accept a piece? So, 95 war score, so massive demands exceed war score issue. Move that and they still wouldn't accept due to current peace offer and the fact I don't have war, enough war score. So, let's see. What else is there to consider for the ever so grand? Tiberistan Kingdom. Looks quite clear, eh? Bakara's running into an issue, isn't it? Tiberistan has it an order line. Use piety, please. Austria declared on Venice, did it? Venice is gonna die horribly and slowly. And they're actually highly vulnerable. I guess I could use that as an excuse to um take a particular province. So I think I'll finally be able to get Negroponte and Naxos. Negroponte is the one that is worth more to take. So the other two diplomats are one is working in Venice, which is one I just sent. One's still building a spy network in Ardalan. I don't know why I'm doing that. I should have called you back a while ago. And you are actually done with your task in getting Udija to be fabricated upon. So you can come back as well. Can't get to there. I can get to there. Hmm. Send in the infantry. I can wait till next year to get a bigger discount, so I'm not going to take it immediately. What's this? Head by four years. Yeah, I know that. That makes it a little cheaper, and I have got an excess of points, so I will take it. That just improves CAV massively. What's this? Persian separatists. Because reasoning. If I can get them a separate piece, I could do this. Nope, they wouldn't do that. Why, I wonder? Demands exceed war score, and they haven't really lost their capital yet. Oh, are you going to be an annoyance? No. Not yet, anyway. Once the capital falls, I think it is going to change substantially the dynamic of their desire for peace. National tax modifier, yearly corruption, 
Seems almost too good to be true. And I bet you it is. I almost guarantee something will go wrong. Now, will you accept a piece now? Yes, you will. And damn right you will. So, the Ottoman border east has expanded. Not as much as some would think it could, but it's definitely a hefty expansion. And it costs pretty much nothing even though, look, 16 just costs nothing to call these. The base cost? Yep, look at that. 60, minus 66. Percent is just ah, oh, it is good. So we can go up in speed, I think. So the truce with Tlemecan is for another six years, and now I'm gonna have a truce with them for some time. Persian separatists also seem like they may become an issue, which is you know not really a bad thing. Especially since it seems to be damaging to Beristan more than me. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, just how much can I piss you lot off? I can afford to stability soon enough anyway. Like all of that is gonna be uh, I hate these guys. I'm gonna rein them in, I think. Cause this is actually gonna impact my income quite substantially. So this, what disaster may trigger if I do this? Unrest isn't at least one. It will go to above one. So if I do this, and then take the hit, Then ring them in. Ooh, yeah, I think I might have dodged it just about. Ugh, stupid guys. So then I get the next. Oh, why must you do this? I'll take that. Now these guys are all pissed off. Persians are the most pissed off. Algerians are actually pretty annoyed. But that's only until A, the overextension goes away, and B, until my stability is back at zero. Which I'm managing quite easily. Trade efficiency guy. One admin point off. Ooh. Anyway, 16,000 in the east, 20,000 in Europe, 40,000 in Africa. So that's what my current setup is like. And Telemachus lost most of its bite after the first two wars. Wait, you have a diplomatic skill of five. I know what you can do. Islamic Center of Scholarly Learning. Wait, someone just claimed 
Constantinople. What? Hungary is the only one that can do that, and they... Are you for real? You're not gonna get that. I am never gonna let you get that. Ever. If he manages to take my capital, I am going to get salty. But he's not going to. Only late game could I see Hungary doing that. Via, you know, late game Eastern troops and Western troops. So he'd have to maintain his alliances. And also that I'd have to stagnate pretty heavily. Something that doesn't seem to be occurring. Oh yeah, Venice, you're in the, you're in war. I forgot about that. So, I do want to claim both of these and then take them both. So the Venetian fleet does have a heavy in it. And I can send one of the guys from here over to Athens. Oh yeah, you caught a lot of shit, didn't you? I can also take another trade idea, and in all honesty, I need to. Trade steering, that substantially should boost what goes to Constantinople. So, and the final idea, I believe, is trade efficiency. Well, yep, that just went up by three or so ducats. Yep, I have a hefty hold over Constantinople now. <sighs> so I will need to get the next text before I do anything else. Caravan power? Now I can't actually remember what caravan power really is. I think it is related quite heavily to land trade, not naval trade. So Negro Ponte? Oh yeah, he also has Corf doesn't uh, Corfu. Was Negroponte the right one to fabricate on? Possibly, possibly not. So sixteen, yeah, it was. It's the richest of them. Produces fish like well, the others. This one does produce grapes. Well, wine. And I can just declare the war now, I believe. Fren France. Yep, he's Hamburg and the Papacy. They're not going to do it. They're not going to cut it. So I am going to break off the gained ships. Move them to Udine. Now, I believe I do have a bunch of trade ships, which I just haven't used. So, I am going to split the caravel off. Well, I can just do this. Split in half. I am going to want the caravel to go there. I'll mothball it alongside all the other stuff. And I did gain a galley, which I'll keep in here. I could upgrade my galleys. No, oh, it's just that one. It's an outdated galley. I'll keep it in there for the moment. I'll upgrade it after the war with Naples. Uh, Venice, not Naples. What am I thinking? Now this will piss off Europe, I think. Quite substantially, I imagine. In particular, it'll probably piss off... Well, I'm not sure, actually. They are three provinces. They're by me. I'll get a claim on Corfu probably. Is he paying war reps? Don't be sub subsidising people. And my income has really gone up thanks to the trade ideas. I like this. If I finish this, I can get yet another merchant. And I get more trade power as well. And that's three years, so it's not far. But I might want to rush this, because this also improves trade efficiency and trade range. Now, can I get a good general siege? Let's see. Well, in all honesty, he is not bad. A 1341. Siege pip? Good. 
I'm just going to stop building a spy network and I'm just going to start the war. Wait, what? Trade League. Valachia, Asian, Wittenberg, and Luca. So there's actually a lot more than I expected, but. That's the Venetia, uh, Venetian fleet. Let's settle my fleet on top of that. Get ready to decimate the Valachians. Because I have two generals, I believe, unless. Yeah, one died entirely. So I'm going to set my fleet right on top of his and then get ready to decimate his fleet. Wurttemberg wouldn't join him. Valachia, for some reason, thinks it would be a good idea. So, his fleet does have galleys. But so do I. Man, I think these are all galley asses. So he is up to date, but he's only got brigs. And I've got heavy ships here, which they're going to dominate pretty substantially. Get the Valachians demolished. Even my war galley survived. I'll get rid of the troublemakers. It's painful, but it's the idea that is the best route. So I'm going to take a repair quickly. So that is everything but the galleys up to max. He'll arrive just before the end of the month, which is perfect actually. That gives him his other repair. So, what is the actual numbers looking like? Yeah, I, I win. No doubt. They have lots of galleys, but galleys versus heavy ships, guys. I'd win. No doubt about it. Again, I've gone a little over my time limit though, because I'm not paying attention. Either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time where we'll destroy Venice and finally get these rightfully ours. That wasn't making sense. The islands that are rightfully ours in Greece. Either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.